Welcome to Subzi Life. Conscious, Conscious living, living with, with a, a twist. twist. My name is Faison Subzali. And I'm Dr. Syra. I'm a psychotherapist. And I am a technology consultant and a coach and somebody who's married to Dr. Syra calling her, calling her out on her stuff. Because <laughs> nobody else does. Except my mom. <laughs> well, I can't compete with you. And mom. my sister. And I can't compete with your sister either. So basically, in, if you're in my family, you're going to be calling me out, basically. <laughs> so what are we talking about today, Syra? We struggled a bit to figure out what to talk about because it feels like there's so many moving parts in our lives right now, mm. um, at least for me and Faison. And so um, we thought we'd talk about a topic that crosses a lot of those different um, kind of areas, and that's belonging um, and what does it mean to belong. Yeah, and it's an interesting time. Um, I think last episode we spoke about, um, you know, gratefulness, right? Like, and, and some of the things, uh, especially for me and for you, Syra, the, um, that we were grateful for the sacrifices our parents have made. And those sacrifices actually have led, um, you know, I think this morning we, you and I were talking about how those sacrifices, those moments and those decisions have led us to be uh, at that point we were sitting out on the deck that led us to sit out on the deck in Canada in the in, sunshine in the sunshine in, in 2020 neighborhood. yeah yeah you know uh coming from um the places that both of us came mm -hmm. if we had stayed in those places I don't know if we would have met who knows with this uh, where there's a global. Well, we met world. online, so technically. We met online, but but you know, like uh, <laughs> kind of ending up here, yeah. Um, uh, with uh, with similar yet progressing value systems, right? Like we're you know we're changing, we're changing together, um, and so all of those decisions kind of ended up being here, right? We're we're here now. W what what did what does here mean, and what does it mean to belong? So when we first moved into this neighborhood that we're in now, I was uncomfortable here, right? Because we were living right in the city before and there was a lot of kind of diversity of people from a lot of different backgrounds and people walked everywhere and we had, you know, we didn't go for big grocery runs. We just went to the market every couple of days to get some oranges or to get some whatever. Um, so it was a, it was a very kind of... Um, as you go, go as you need kind of life. It was very minimalist. We didn't have a lot of stuff. Um, Couldn't fit a lot of stuff. We in had a tiny <laughs> apartment, right? 650 square feet with four of us. And so when we moved to this larger space in this suburb, um, it, it I didn't feel like I belonged here, right? I felt it felt uh, foreign, even though I've grown up in suburbia, right? But after living in downtown and having that kind of experience of that community, um, you know, where you're walking around and you see people, you know, just at the park or at the community center, and then to go to, to feel like we're just so isolated as far as knowing our neighbors and that sort of thing. Right. But give it two years. And now this is my community. The first time I felt that sense of belonging here, um, actually there's two, two incidents I can remember. So one is when I walked into um, our children's school. So it was their first day, it was my son's first day or the first event, I guess. It was like a welcome back party, they used to call it, in um, September. And I walked into the gymnasium and there's all these kids and there's these parents that were volunteering. And I just asked um, somebody, you know, is there anything I can do to help? And um, she just, she was so warm and she just welcomed me right in and I got involved with the, uh, parental advisory committee, the PAC. Um, and now she's like my best friend, right? Um, that thanks Aaron, shout out to you. <laughs> but it, so, you know, somebody reached out and, and kind of gathered me up and that was the first time I felt that sense of inclusion and belonging. And the second time, I don't know if I've told you this story phase, um, but it's, I was at Costco and I saw another mother from the school at Costco and we recognized each other and we stopped our carts and we said hello. So 
what for me and maybe for other parents, my community um, started building around the school and the school that my kids went to. And I have the privilege of being able to drop off my kids to school every day um, and pick them up every day. And so I get to meet the other parents and I get to talk to the teachers. And that's how my community started to build. And that's how I felt that sense of belonging. And then, you know, other other ways like going to the gym, for example, on a regular basis. And the more the more times you go, the more faces are familiar, and then eventually it's just somewhere you belong. Yeah. So, so from a physical perspective, right? Like, yes. So, I think we we found our footing in this area. Um, I think we were both hesitant to move <laughs> move where we moved, mm -hmm. uh, and it's actually um, it's actually been a very uh, uh, very good time. I mean, we've had a lot of challenges uh, through the last like the squirrels. In the roof, <laughs> that challenge. Well, yes, I mean, there's physical challenges, but there were, <laughs> there, were um, there were health challenges as well. Right. Right. Yeah. And there were uh, other challenges that we've we faced while we've been a, while we've been here, uh, and yet that community's been kind of our our stronghold, mm -hmm. right? And it's mm -hmm. not just the city that we live in; it's the community that uh, we've been able to build uh, our friend circle who don't live in the same area as we do, but are available. How did you even meet those? So I started doing this thing. I started doing this thing because I was really lonely in private practice. And so I started, anytime somebody told me they were a therapist, um, I invited them over and for, a coffee, for right? a coffee or whatever, and we would just talk. And then I, I started these quarterly gatherings at my house called, I called them the therapist get together. And I'd invite all these therapists, especially specifically female uh, women therapists. And we'd all Kind of get together and we just get together for a meal and we would invite if they had a partner or children um, and we would just kind of get to know each other and that's through that again I think sometimes you for me I have found that when I make an effort to create um, opportunities for connection then community starts emerging out of that right that sense of belonging starts to emerge yeah, so I guess my, my question was around that now <laughs> is those that are struggling i mean i think that this question of belonging mm -hmm. there are many who struggle to belong i think we most to, of us most a lot of us, us do, yeah right and that doesn't mean just belonging within this communities that we live in or that we participate in it's also sometimes feeling like if do i belong in this family right i I've, feel so different yeah do i belong uh with the friends like you know, some like uh, some of those old friendships may have uh, kind of you know they've passed. Right, you've They're, outgrown them. Well, you've outgrown them, or just that that connection, the things that were holding us together. Sometimes it was just the the closeness and whatnot are no longer there, and so you're like, okay, what what is that common thread that's actually holding us? And so if you can't hold on to any of those threads, it feels like okay, I don't belong. I don't have any friends. I don't have. I don't belong in my family or I don't I, uh, I don't fit in uh, the gym I don't fit in at work right and I think it, it's a uh, what I found is that that that's a tough uh, it, it causes a lot of anxiety if I can use that word causes a lot of anxiety for many uh, as they're kind of going through these uh, this this situation of trying to belong somewhere like where do I fit Right. And and so my question to is like how I have a, I have some thoughts on it, but like what what are your thoughts on how do you get over that? How do you get past the OK, I don't belong here, but how do I find a place to belong? Because so, it, and, and is it important to belong somewhere? Um, one of the I think I went to a conference or I read it in a book or something. Somebody it was somebody else's idea, but that there's a difference between fitting in and belonging. Fitting in is where we adjust ourselves yeah. so that we can kind of be the same as the people that we're trying to fit in with, right? Belonging is where we actually feel welcomed into a group. And so fitting in is where we change so that we can have that feeling of connection. Whereas belonging is finding the right people that get us and kind of, you know, my mom says like vibrate at the same level, right? Like we're on the same page, we're on the same wavelength. So belonging takes more effort because belonging means you have to know who you are, mm. right? And you have to take off the masks that you've been wearing. I say yeah. to my clients all the time, like I tell this ice cream story, right? That we were all born, all of these different ice cream flavors. What's your flavor, Faze? Vanilla. Vanilla or like vanilla bean, French vanilla. 
What kind vanilla. of vanilla? Oh, yeah, I guess vanilla bean. Vanilla bean. Yeah. So I'm, I'm glad you chose that one. So I'm going to tell you a little story, okay? So here's this boy. You kind of made me choose a bit, okay? Come on, if it's that big tub from Safeway of vanilla, yeah, 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 with the plastic lid, you know that big tub, yeah. or Hagen does vanilla bean. What are you gonna choose? Vanilla bean. Exactly. Yeah. So you're vanilla bean. <laughs> so I am peanut butter chocolate. Okay, yeah. a little bit more than vanilla bean, but anyway. You are, yes. So <laughs> I tell my clients the story that we, you know, we all start as these different flavors: vanilla bean, peanut butter chocolate. And at a certain age, we decide to just become vanilla because it seems like vanilla have the most friends. Vanilla fit in. Um, vanilla people seem to have what we want. And so what we do is we tone it down and we try to be vanilla. Just vanilla, not vanilla bean. You know, with those extra little black specks and that extra richness. No, just plain vanilla, like generic, no name brand vanilla. And then we go through our lives. Um, so whether it's, you know, me or you or someone else listening, we go through our lives often feeling like we don't belong mm -hmm. because we're belonging, but with vanilla people. Yeah. Right. And so once we start knowing who we are, once we start claiming our flavor, so me claiming my flavor of chocolate and peanut butter, like a little bit salty, a little bit chocolate, it might give you a migraine. Not everybody loves it. You could actually die if you're allergic, but the people who like chocolate, peanut butter, they will hunt me out. They will find me. Mm -hmm. And it means my circle is much smaller, but I have that belonging because it's other people who are looking what I, for what I'm actually giving, not looking for my vanilla mask. Right. So fitting in is being vanilla, whereas belonging is claiming your flavor and then finding others who are connected to that. And how do you find those people? That's going to be your next question. Right? No, I think, well, I, I'm just going to share kind of my, my opinion and my, uh, one of the things that I've kind of learned and I spoke about it actually in my men's group was I've been that vanilla, uh, like the generic. What, what I called it a chameleon, mm -hmm. right? I could fit in. I knew how to talk to, uh, I know how to talk to the cop. Mm -hmm. I knew how to talk to, uh, uh, talk to a boss. I knew how to talk to the janitor. I like, you know, like I could just figure my way in, mm -hmm. right? Yet, because I wasn't actually sharing who I was, mm -hmm. I, you know, it still felt like, uh, I don't know if I connected with any of those. Mm. Uh, didn't, didn't matter. So you uh, fit it in. You, f you know how you, to fit yeah, yeah. in. Yeah, I fit in. But you don't I fit in that, like those different groups. But you don't feel that sense of belonging to any of those groups. Right. Right. And, and, I, and part of it was... Um, Allowing my, and you know, one of the things that I've been working on the last many years is being vulnerable enough to actually share what I believe, right? And one of the things that I strongly believe now is I don't know shit. Like, I don't know, like, anything. <laughs> you just figured that out. No, you know, I, 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 I've always known that. <laughs> I've always known No, I'm just kidding. I know you've known that. <laughs> you, but... It's all, you know, I think many of us still pretend, oh yeah, you know what, to fit in, I'm going to, you know, the, I've read two pages on this thing, mm -hmm. I'm going to write a thesis. I have an opinion on yeah, this. Yeah, I'm going to write a PhD thesis mm -hmm. on this, right? <laughs> and so, and, and I've been one of those people, just so I can continue uh, making my way through, mm -hmm. right? Swimming, uh, swimming my way through, right? Like I'm the, I'm the salmon swimming with the sharks. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make sense, right? Like it just, uh, but... I try, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, but I, I, like, I've had to be vulnerable enough to now go in and say, uh, I mean, that's just one of those beliefs, right? That, uh, that has come up now, but like just showing myself, showing up as vanilla bean. Vanilla bean. Right? Just, but just showing up yeah. as something that I'm like, wait, I don't even know if this is true. Because right. I've never been this. Right. And I'm still learning who I and am. And I'm still learning who I am. And so, so from a belonging perspective, um, what I found is like, you know, I think you said, right? What I found is like those conversations that I have now mm -hmm. with the people that I have are deeper, but they don't last long. Like they don't, they're not like, oh yeah, you know, I, I've known, I've known somebody for two 20, 30 years, mm -hmm. right? It, it's not about that. It's just about if I'm going to be vulnerable, we're going to go deep fast. 
But not everybody's comfortable. Not everybody's comfortable with that, and that's okay. To be on I'm the not, receiving end of that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and I, of course, right? Like you have I'm to not, gauge it. Yeah, I gauge it, but I'm not. I'm not pushing them to be that person either. Right. right? Like you said, you're gonna find who you're attracted to, and so I'm attracting those people. Mm-hmm. But what I'm finding is that you know we're not like talking every day. Right. I see what you're saying. Right. We're so not. It's not talking. about quant- quantity. Quantity. Right. Because I think one of the things that you know what's come up is that I don't feel like I belong if I don't talk to somebody or I don't have somewhere to go every day, every week, whatever it might be, right? Like there are parameters that we've defined. Yeah. Right. And this COVID thing has really brought that to light, yeah. right? That I've, we have friends we haven't seen in five months. And like I we see, actually haven't seen them. And like I, and I know when I see them next or when we talk, we'll go deep. Yeah. It, and it's okay. Right. Like, and it's not going to be, just gonna pick up where you left yeah. off, right? Yeah. And, and you know, and but I, before I, we were like, oh, we should really go see our friends. It's been you know six weeks and we haven't yeah. hung out, and now it's like, no, we know they love us yeah. and we know we're there for each other, and we might text you. Like I think I've been texting like a friend like maybe once every two months or something. Like right. so different. So I guess as we're coming to a close, so what are some of the things that those that are actually struggling mm-hmm. with this loneliness mm. and this this sense of loneliness, even if they have people around? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't feel like they belong to any particular community, family systems or anything. So the first thing I would recommend is to, (laughs) there's a book called Your Rainforest Mind. If you're someone who feels like you've never, ever, ever fit in um, and you're intense, complex and driven, you happen to be talented in some area and you have a deep abiding need to help humanity, read this book your rainforest mind, um, that might explain why you feel so alone, um, because there is a cohort of people um, that actually are qualitatively different in the way that they see the world. Mm-hmm. And so when those people find each other, it's so refreshing. So that's, that's a resource for people who might be listening. Another thing I would say is check out, are you trying to fit in or do you want to belong? And if you're trying to fit in, what that would tell you is that you have to remember your flavor. Stop trying to be vanilla. Right. Remember your flavor. Uh, Dig around. Figure out what is my flavor and then stop and notice. And unfortunately, some of those vanilla people you had in your life, they might start to fade away and you have to be willing to let them go, which is really hard because there's this gap of time, right, where you let them go and the other people haven't shown up yet. And yes, it will be lonely. But that sense of belonging, nobody around us on the outside is going to give us that sense of belonging. Mm. Right. It has to come from the inside feeling like you know who you are. And I mean, we know it's, that's a lifelong journey, but that you know your values, that you know what you stand for, that you um, you would be able to ask, answer the question that if tomorrow you didn't have any sort of financial obligations or time obligations, what would you spend your time doing? If you can answer that question, then you're working on figuring out who you really are, right? And when you get that, then you don't need to fit in Mm. because I'm okay with me. And it took me a really long time. And there's people like me who are people pleasers that it's really hard or chameleons, right? You'd rather fit in than be alone. But Mm -hmm. I've learned and I learned through my depression that being alone and alone with my own thoughts and, and facing that loneliness actually brought me closer to being my true self. And so that's what I would say is if you're not feeling like you fit, it's a time for an inner journey. Right. That's, Which is not what you'd expect me to say, right? You, I, you expect me to say, like, go out and meet people and whatever? No, no, I think that's actually... Um, I would have expected you to say that 10 years ago as, right. a, as an answer. Yeah. And only, so I'm growing? I'm well, you're growing. I think I'm growing, right? Like, this is not, it's not everything is about you. Yes, you know? it, it I is. You, I know you it think is. it is. Yeah, 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 I know you think so. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it, it, for me, it's, it's been this journey, right? Like it, it, that going out mm-hmm. without figuring ourselves out mm-hmm. is like me going out to a party without any clothes on. Right. Right? Like it's not going to work out because <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> There's, oh, there's gonna be, some, be a lot of repercussions, <laughs> yeah. right? Like so, it's just gonna be. Uh, it, it, for me, it's it's this. I uh, you know I've worked my I've, I'm working on myself, mm-hmm. and as I work on myself, that energy is going out and bringing attracting those people. And yes, I do have to take steps, right? Mm-hmm. Like it's not like you know I'm just gonna sit here on my couch and somebody's gonna come, right? Uh, somebody's gonna come visit, 
<laughs> but those those uh, those conversations do happen. Like uh, the actions come from within rather than right. trying to do something, or trying to force something to happen, mm-hmm. or trying to copy someone else's way of yeah. doing it. Yeah, exactly. So, so I think on that note, we'll 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 end this episode of belonging. Uh, we hope you continue to find uh, your spots in this uh, in this beautiful world that we live in. Find your beautiful. flavors. Find your flavors. Find your flavors, <laughs> and uh, yeah. So leave a comment on kind of the things you do uh, to to uh, kind of grow as well as to find those places to belong. Uh, share with us as we you know we we're, we're still learning, and so that that helps us. And if there's a topic that you really want us to talk about, let us know because, you know, we can just talk and talk and talk clearly. Yeah, we just keep on going. So, until next time. Smile more. And worry less.